I absolutely love shitty movies. When it comes to bad movies, I'm the preeminent expert in the field. If bad movies were disease, then I'm the patient zero. I just fucking love bad movies. That being said, I found a real shit piss stinker today. It's called Airplane Mode, and I've seen no one talking about it, at least not yet. If you're over the age of 12, then it has 23 of your least favorite people on the internet. It's a YouTube movie that stars Logan Paul and douchebags like Logan Paul, Lele Pons and shit like that, all just screaming for an hour and a half. The movie is downright insufferable. I had to do something I've never done in my 25 years. I had to break up watching the movie. I watched it in two halves. I watched the first half and I just needed a break. I needed a respite. Fucking did some jumping jacks, jogged around. I had to go back in the locker room, start slapping my teammates ass to encourage them. Except it was just my ass I was slapping. You know, good game, let's get out there in the second half and really get after it. Came back, finished it in the second chunk, and it was just as bad. I've never had to break up watching a bad movie. I always one-shot it real time like a real man. I'm no pussy bitch when it comes to bad movies. I can handle just about anything, but this was a whole new beast. I'm not exaggerating. It is that bad. And what makes it even worse is I can't show you all the bad things because of how this movie is going to be protected by YouTube since it's one of their originals. All I can do is show you the trailer to illustrate it, and the trailer's abominable. The trailer shows you just about everything you need to know about how bad the movie is and what you're in for. But, I mean, it's a real shame because I wanted to do what I did for Max Steel, where I break down the movie start to finish and I use clips from the movies to talk about why it's bad, what's going on. But I can't do that for this one, but I will do my best to illustrate and put into words why this movie is as bad as it is. I know the big shitter going around the internet right now is called Swiped, and yeah, it's a really fucking bad movie. That movie sucks fuck real hard, but it's got nothing on Airplane Mode. Airplane Mode makes that movie look like a fucking Oscar nominee. That movie, in comparison to Airplane Mode, is a citizen's cane. Airplane Mode is a whole new ballgame that I've not experienced before. So let's just go ahead, I'm going to show you the trailer a little bit here, and we'll start breaking it down scene by scene, and just going over the trailer. Okay, uh, seriously, what is Hashtagacon? Bro, it's the biggest social media convention ever. Yeah, man, Hashtagacon. Everyone's going to be there. People get laid at convention. Yeah, so it's about Logan Paul and other equally douchey internet personalities getting together to go to Hashtagacon, a giant social media convention, and this is one of the loudest goddamn things I've ever heard in my life. This movie makes a head-on-head -head train collision sound peaceful in comparison. If I was inside the Chernobyl nuclear reactor during the first steam explosion, that would have been quieter than this movie, I imagine. This movie is beyond loud, I can't even express that enough. It's as if all of these talentless goobers thought to be a good actor, all they had to do was be super fucking loud, because that's all they do. It's as if you've wandered into a daycare after all the kids have had three cans of coke and are now going into cardiac arrest from a sugar overdose. Hides of drugs and hides of liquids, because we searching everybody around here. Not only is it super fucking loud and in a complete buttfuck of all your senses, it also is dated with some of the stalest memes of all time. They have the hide your kids, hide your wife guy there for that one, and they have a lot of other super stale memes. It's unbelievable. They, they have the leave Britney alone, and it's even in the trailer. It's coming up, so just fucking prepare yourself. Get one hand on your dick and ready to rumble, because it's, it's brutal. It is just so... I, like, I, I can't even imagine scripting this movie or signing up to be a part of this movie. How anyone could be proud of it or think it's going to do well. I can't even imagine a kid enjoying those kind of references. Half the references they make in this movie are older than their audience. So they're not even going to get them to begin with. It's, it's unbelievable how, how just fucking delusional they are to think that this movie would work in any capacity. I don't know when it was filmed. Maybe it was filmed in the past, but it came out this week. So it's a new movie, thus it's going to be judged as such. It also has this identity crisis because it doesn't seem to know what kind of demographic it wants to hit. The audience of all of these YouTubers are primarily children. Every single douchebag here has an audience of kids. And yet the movie opens with Logan Paul trying to jerk off while having video sex with his girlfriend. So it's not exactly suitable for kids, which is their audience, and none of, nothing, no jokes or anything they make in this movie would work on anyone over the age of 12. So I don't know what the fuck kind of area it was trying to hit, but it is it is truly lost within its own asshole. Please turn your cellular to airplane setting. I read the dying term. Ah! What the hell is going on? It's a still phone. <laughs> 
I understand most YouTubers have the mentality of a nine-year-old, but my god, that's, that's really going hard on that stereotype there. They fucking turn into a, a football team dogpiling over a fumble for no reason. Like, nothing had happened yet. They just said airplane mode, and then everyone turned into, like, a goddamn feral animal as they were friv just fucking ferociously taking photos of each other and ripping their shirts off. It makes no sense in the movie either. It's just really fucking dumb. I get the intention is for it to be, lol, how wacky these internet stars would rather turn into homunculus fighting over drops of water than turn on airplane mode because they are so connected and so fucking dumb. And people wonder why everyone looks at YouTubers as fucking vapid losers and no one respects the profession. Probably because of shit like this. This is kind of the perception most people have of YouTubers because these are huge channels and they are huge fucking douchebag loser man children. So I do get it. And it's rough to watch it in this movie. It's fucking... It's embarrassing. Just even sitting there watching it. It's fucking embarrassing. The pirates are dead! What should we do? I need you to figure this out. Maybe someone else has a plan. Ah! Leave Britney alone! Yeah, there's the leave Britney alone thing I gave you a warning about earlier. It's just, it's really that bad. It truly is. And then the dude pulls a Logan Paul by filming himself with dead bodies, and then they have to fly the plane because the plane's gone down because everyone's on their phone. It's super shitty. Super, super shitty. Uh, and again, the references and memes and stuff are beyond outdated. I, I was shocked to not see the Crazy Frog or Peanut Butter Jelly Time come into play. Maybe it did happen and I'm just fucking forgetting about it. Maybe the Men in Black have already neuralized me to help me out and not remember most of this movie. But my god, it is that bad. It fucking, it sucks some fat dick hole. I really can't, I want to show parts of this movie to help you show you how bad it is. But since my Max Steel video got blocked, even though I did exactly what I Hate Everything and all the other ones do, I, I'm not going to do that with a YouTube movie because they're even stricter than something like the Max Steel Studios. So I'm not going to take that chance of this getting blocked because I need people to see how bad this movie is. No one's talking about it, and this is the m worst movie out right now. Easily. Easily. It makes Swiped look so good in comparison. You're right. I got this. You're not a terrorist, are you, mate? No, I'm a social media sensation. There is no social media convention. With all of you dead. Even the fucking trailers mainly screams, and the movie goes even harder. Of the hour and a half runtime, I'd say about an hour of it is just straight screaming in agony, or yelling shitty jokes, or yelling to make your punchline comedy comedic or something. I don't, I don't really know, but it's just mainly yelling, just really guttural. <laughs> What, you're not laughing? Oh, man, what? But we did everything we could. The writing was so good. The writing makes fucking Neil Breen look like a mastermind. And in his own right, Neil Breen is. But you get what I'm saying. It's so fucking bad. And I also hate, 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 hate this trend. And this is definitely gonna ruffle a few scrotums. I hate where dancing is the joke, like goofy dancing. The, that epic dancing stuff, that's the comedy. I hate that. That shit sucks ass. And that's a big portion of this, too. Dancing is a lot of times what the joke is, and that sucks some fat ass too. Give me that selfie stick! Do you know how to drive a 767? Hey, just wanted to say this movie fucking sucks. Just a quick reminder. After sitting through the whole movie, I feel like I need to be either admitted to Arkham Asylum or go to some type of Alcoholics Anonymous, like Airplane Anonymous or something. It's really that bad. It's never something I say lightly when something is genuinely awful, because I like to poke fun at it and find like, hey, you know, it was really bad, but enjoyably bad in these points here and there. And I did enjoy my time with it because I love bad movies. I love making fun of bad movies. I like getting lost in a bad movie. It's just so fun. Airplane mode made it truly awful. 
It made me hate movies in general. It made me hate the entire medium that allowed this catastrophe to enter my life. It's truly just an affront to God and the universe itself. It's just that bad. I, I really can't shit on it enough. I'd really like if I could show you more from the movie itself, but I know the video would get blocked, so I'm not even going to bother. But man, it is just so unbelievably horrible. I wouldn't recommend this for a bad movie night or so bad it's good or haha, let's make fun of the YouTubers in here because you can't. It's just mind-numbingly bad. Like, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it gave me hemorrhoids again. It's so bad. Really just super bad. That's it. So yeah.